Hello guys, this is Christian from Swim to Fly and today we're gonna learn how to teach swimming to your children and this is little Ozzy. Okay. First things remember when you wanna teach swimming is to build the trust. You have a new student, mm -hmm. so trust is everything in teaching. All right, Ozzy? Yeah, okay. And trust comes where you like the teacher, right? <laughs> High five me both. So to build the trust, it's easy. You can, you can play with games, you can play with toys, anything you want. And then you build a dress. Hey, look at the little sharky. Hello, Ozzy, how are you? Look at me. Very simple. Make them trusting in you, carry them, talk to them nicely, and then the lesson will be good. Guys, when you are teaching to your children, remember they are kids, and usually kids love sing, song, music, anything. And the streaming lesson must be fun. Entertain them with singing. For example, there is two ways to do it. Mr. Rosie, can you blow bubbles? One, two, three, four, five. Very good, Mr. Rosie. Or you can be a bit more funny. Okay, Mr. Rosie, let's go with. Let's go, bubbles. Let's go together. What is your name? Your name is O. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to blow your bubbles? One, two, three. Show me bubbles. <gasps> Mr. Ozzy can do his bubbles. One, two, three, show me one more time. It is easy to swim in the water. It is easy to blow your ba. Yes, bubbles again. You see, they love singing. So any instruction you can do, try to make them having fun. You can shake them a little bit, you can accelerate the rhythmic. High five! Oh. Who is number one, Mr. Mr. Ozzy? Number one is Mr. O. <laughs> Mr. Ozzy. All right, the lyrics is really up to you. So when you are teaching swimming to the kids, remember, they need to remember what they are asked to do. For example, if I ask Mr. Ozzy to blow his bubbles, I will ask after if he did it and how long he did it and how he did it. For example, you ask a question. Mr. Ozzy, can you blow bubbles from inside the water? One, two, three, four, five. Then you ask, Mr. Ozzy, did you do your bubbles? Yeah. You did bubbles. How many seconds you do the bubbles? A lot. Yeah. And what if I say five seconds? One, two, three, four, five. How many seconds? Yeah. How many seconds? Five. Correct. Five. Show me five seconds. Go. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. Did you do five second bubbles? Yeah. Yes, you did? How many seconds we do the bubbles? Yeah. That is how you do it. Ask them the question and ask and expect for a good answer. Okay. All right. So another thing is, if your children is doing well, you must tell them it's good and you give them a reward. A reward can be anything. It could be a high five, Ozzy, that was so good. Yay! Or it could be a gift. Ozzy, if you do a good swimming class today like you did, look at that. Look at these amazing balloons I get for you. That's what you got. You want a balloon? Uh, I, like, I like red one. Oh, you like the red one. <laughs> Okay, you got the black one today. I have no more red. Black is okay? Yeah. yeah, that's a good reward, yeah? Plenty of rewards. So it could be a high five, could be say something, or could be also an activity they like. Look, Jose, do you like when I throw you a little bit in the water? Yeah. One, two, three. Are you ready? Four, five, six. Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> high five. So basically, ask them to do something. If they execute well, you can give that kind of rewards. Very easy. So when you start a swimming lesson, usually with a new student or someone which is very beginner, instead of going for the skill, try to create a good relationship. And toys are very important for kids. They like to play, they like games, they like toys. This is Mr. Sharky, Ozzy. Do you like Mr. Sharky? Yeah. Hello, Ozzy, how are you? <laughs> is it funny? Why are you laughing? Hey, don't touch my face! Hey, why you do this? So they always will interact with the toys with yourself. So, 
don't have to go in the water, just go play here. Hey, Mr. Rosie, you wanna play with me for a little bit? There you go. Can you give it to me? Can I have the sharky? Look at it. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> High five. Make friends with him. Make sure that he enjoys to be in the water with you. And then, from there, you can start to do little instruction. Mr. Hosey, yeah. come over here. I, I can't go under people. That's an amazing shot. Can you kick your legs for Mr. Christian? Then, yeah. kick, kick, kick the water. Splash. Splash, splash, splash. Mr. Hosey. Splash, splash. Give me the high five. Yay! Okay. Remember when you are teaching a swimming lesson to your children, at the end, you want them to learn something. So you must teach. I know you want them to have fun and to play, but you need to go back on what you want to teach them. Okay, so don't let the lesson become just a game play. At some point, keep in mind what you want. Mr. Z, are you ready? Okay, let's go for bubbles. I want to see five second bubbles. Show me. Show me now. Very good, Mr. Ozzy. Mr. Ozzy, you are the number one. One, two, three, Mr. O. Fart. <laughs> Let's go. Five second bubbles and fly. <gasps> Very good. If he's not listening, be just more a bit insisting on whatever you want to see. Because he likes to play, so he can be very easily distracted. A child is easily distracted with insertion. Eh, Mr. Uzi, you want to play with Mr. Sharky? Okay, five me. Show me five second bubbles first, then we can play. Um, One, two, three, go. Did you do your five second bubbles? Is it important to do the bubbles five seconds? So you deserve to play with Sharky? That's right. There. Good, good. All right, remember, keep it in mind. Play, have fun, but they they need to learn what you want them to teach, which is, in this particular case, Mr. Ozzy is almost able to swim by himself. Mr. Ozzy, can you show me the five second bubbles and tiger? Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Tiger for me, tiger for me. Move your hands like a tiger and bubbles. Mr. Z. So it's a thin line in between playing, having fun, and learning as well. So, if your child is scared in the water, we recommend to practice in the shallow pool. Actually, don't even go in the deep or medium shallow. Just go play where it's like extremely safe for them. But if you carry the child, when they're scared, there is a way to act. Like, be tight with them, reassure them the most you can, and you can whisper in their ears because when you speak to a child he will listen more if you speak slowly that's right Ozzy no problem right is it scary to swim in the water it's not scary right now he speaks slowly yes can you show me slowly the bubbles <sighs> have you seen the fish inside the water no problem that's how you can do it whisper speak slowly hold them tight, bring them when they feel comfortable, and then step by step, they will be less and less scared. One of the more important thing when you learn to teach to your children is to make them enjoy the lesson and interact with them. Basically, they need to have fun, they need to be teased, they need to have plenty of way to do it. You have toys, you, have, you can tickle them a little bit. Ooh, what is this one? What is this little crazy? Why you do this? Hmm? Tell me the truth. Did you blow your bubbles, Mr. Ozzy? Yeah. You did it? Are you sure you did it? Are you sure you did it? Very yeah. simple. Or you can do little games like, oh, let's kick the water. Okay. Mr. Ozzy, can you kick kick with your feet on my hands? Splash, 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 splash my hands. Splash, 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 splash my hands. Splash, 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 give me the high five. Fail. 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 You crazy one! <laughs> one more time. Bam! Oh, that was a good one. All right. Hey, this is Mr. Shaki. You want Mr. Shaki? Hello, Mr. Rosie. <laughs> All right. There is plenty of way to do it, and the rewards could be also like, oh, that was a good one, Mr. I don't know, Mr. Rosie. That was very good swimming lesson today. I think you deserve a huggy. 
Do you want a huggy, Mr. Ozzy? Yeah. Small, medium, or hard huggy? Um, yeah. You want a small, medium, or hard? Mall. So we go for small huggy. Ooh, very good today. Ooh, that was a good one. All right. Bye, bye, bye. See you next week, Mr. Batman. Send me the Sharky. Thank you. Swimming, basically, you need to carry on the children. And by carrying on the children, you want the kids to be able to trust in you. Yeah. Okay. If I ask Mr. Ozzy to blow bubbles, I can hold him from here. Okay. Blow bubbles underwater. You're the best, Ozzy. I hold him like this. I can carry him from the back as well. Can you blow bubbles in the water for me? <laughs> Mr. Ozzy, so he's a bit excited. Try to open your arms. Imagine you're like an airplane, okay? And we look underwater. Open your arms like an airplane. Don't scared, I'm holding you. Yeah, so you can see he's feeling the trust because I can carry on from behind. You can hold the child from behind as well. I, I don't own that. Huh? What is that? <laughs> Ozzy, let's do the fly like a bird. Open your arms. <gasps> Blue. Open your arms. Yes. You see, I'm carrying you. You have nothing to worry about. So you can carry from the stomach. Head down, Ozzy. <gasps> And if the kid is very advanced, you can let him fly on his own and carry only when he needs help. Ozzy, let's fly like a birdie together. <gasps> let's go. So this one is okay, and then I can carry up to you. You cannot do that with a very beginner. Practice when it is shallow. But Mr. Ozzy is okay. Can you fly slowly to Mr. Christian? Yeah. And I'm gonna help you? I know we gotta go fast. I know we gotta run very fast. I know you're the best. Let's go. Let's go. I know we got very, very fast and so very fast. Let's go, Betty. Go. Big bubbles. Go. One, two, three, four. Carry it. There you go. Basically, always help the student when they need help. If you feel they are comfortable, give them more space. But always come as soon as possible to put them out of the water and help. Thank you, Mr. Ozzy. High five. Okay, and remember guys, when you are teaching, you want repetition. It's very important to ask your children to repeat something which is positive and good. For example, Mr. Ozzy, are you loving Batman, Mr. Ozzy? Is it Batman this one? Yeah. You like Batman? Yeah. Can you fly like a bat in the water? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Ozzy is comfortable flying in the water. Open your hands, fly like a Batman. Fly to the wall. If you can do it once, slowly, Mr. Ozzy, slowly. Okay, you, well. you have to blow your bubbles. I want to see bubbles when you fly. Remember? Okay. Go. Bubbles. <gasps> then you fly. You can do it once. It doesn't mean you can do it two it or three mean? times necessarily. To make sure it's possible, make him repeat and repeat the skill you want to see. The more you repeat, the more you will learn. Mr. Ozzy, let's do it a few more times. Okay. Are you ready to do your bubbles? Yeah. Are you ready to fly like a bat? Okay. Show me. I like Batman. <gasps> <laughs> I like Batman. Oh my. Mr. Ozzy is the best. I don't see the bubbles, Mr. Ozzy. No. Mr. Ozzy, I did not see the bubbles. When you fly like a bat, you need to blow bar. Okay, show me the bubbles. Let's repeat. Show me. Go. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Mr. Oz, did you blow the bubbles? No, you did not blow the bubbles. I did not see many bubbles. Show me again. Show me. Show me. Many? That's not many. That's very good. Can you show me many when you fly? Okay. Go. So basically, they are learning. Everything they do must be perfect. If you can make it perfect, ask them perfection. And if they are learning, just keep repeating until it becomes perfect. Okay, Mr. Rosie, one more time. Big bubbles, huh?
Don't forget. All right. Repetition is the key of success. All right. No need to do hard stuff. If flying underwater is too hard, fly where it's shallow. Okay? But repeat until it's perfect. High five. Yeah, Mr. Ozzy. All right. Big bubble. Show me. One more time, Mr. Ozzy. Go. When you teach swimming, what, one of the more important things is for them to be able to breathe by themselves on the surface. Okay, at the beginning they are not. Mr. Uzi has been trained to be able to fly in the water for five seconds. He can do it without my help. Can you fly to the wall, Mr. Uzi? Fly slowly. So I help him, I help him, I help him. I know he's comfortable. He grabs the wall. When the child can feel he's floating, you can release your help for a bit and see how it goes. Oh, I'm Mr. Ozzy, let's fly together. Open your wings like a big airplane. Fly. I help. And then I see it's okay, I let go. You see? Be very careful. You must see always bubbles and you must act like very relaxed, very chill. If he's moving fast, usually it's not so good. And now, Mr. Ozzy, let's try to breathe after the bubble. So five seconds fly and then breathe. One, two, three, four. Is okay to breathe. Paddle with your hand, Mr. Ozzy. You can help holding his wetsuit. You can help holding his body. Move your hands like a tiger. Ozzy, Ozzy. When you breathe, become a tiger. Move your hands. Paddle the water. Yes. Yeah. And bubbles again. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Tiger. Show me the tiger, Ozzy. Move your hands like this. Tiger with your hands. Then tiger, 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 move your hands, don't grab Mr. Christian, use your hands, paddle your hands. Mr. Ozzy, you need to paddle your hands in the water like this, one more time. One, two, three, paddle, 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 that's right, continue to paddle, yes, continue to paddle, paddle, paddle your hands. Remember to paddle, okay, and bubbles. Basically, step by step, you hold them, you see they do what you need to see, and then the more they can do it, the less you can help. But always be there if they need I don't need help. Ozzy, you don't need <laughs> Ozzy doesn't need help. Okay. Tiger, you can hold from the back like this. Move your hand, Mr. Boy. Bubbles. Tiger, 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 tiger. If you look at how it looks like underwater, you can put the camera underwater and see how it looks like. Move your hand. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Tiger, Mr. Ozzy. He knows he's recording this one. Look down. Ozzy. Tiger, tiger. Vamos. There you go. All right. So there is plenty of way to carry on. From the back, from here, from the front, holding the tissue. Always give them a wetsuit. It's very easy for you to help the child and manipulate them. And remember, they must be chill, relaxed, and comfortable. If you feel fear, it means it's too hard for them. Okay? All right. <laughs>